evening all welcome to this very special guide of how to make YouTube videos um, get asked this a lot so I thought I'd put some effort into it and really show you how we do it now there's a kind of an ulterior motive with this because what I would love to see is more YouTube videos out there and I think um, what we're gonna do uh, towards the end of this video if you want to fast forward all the way to it is um, a new thing we're gonna do which is gonna be a showcase of um, upcoming people who are starting to get into YouTubing for dust um, we're gonna do a weekly program Program where we'll kind of show your funny moments and link and, and subscribe to you and get as much uh, traffic through to you as we can so anyway this is a guide of how to make videos um, feel free to pause it and chop it up and, and do it but you'll you'll get the point as we go so what will you need pretty simply you will need something to record with I use a halpage box but others are available you'll need many many cables all tangled up you'll need some energy drinks of some kind just to keep you going probably some form of <laughs> low calorie snack and then of course your precious precious mitts and that's pretty much it what tools to use well let me show you my setup welcome to the ghetto desk hell that is my office and um, as you can see on the far right here we have my halpage box sat under my telly there it is hello and then we have my TV above it which is just too big for the room I know don't don't make don't comment then in the middle we have my first PC screen and as you can see it's streaming from the PC onto my uh, desktop and then I'm able to edit and then pass it to my left screen which is also my PC and then edit using the the, uh, the wonderful technology you see there. Now, in terms of which tools to use, there are many, many tools out there. I use Adobe Premium Premiere, what's it called, um, suite, which is a video editing suite, as you can see here. So um, I like it. I, I've used pretty much all of them in my time. Sony Vegas is just as good. But it, ironically, Windows Movie Maker, which is entirely free, isn't bad. I used that for you know, probably about six months, and it was actually quite good. So as you can see, it's all about really setting up um, an idea in the P in the PlayStation record your footage and this then records onto your desktop in terms of file size you're not too bad with uh, with the streaming tools because instead of fraps which produces you know 500 gig files the an average 20 minute match is about 1.82 gigabytes so you can do quite a lot of stuff before you need to worry about anything like that what you then have to do is, is really kind of build a bit of a storyline and this is where the skill of editing comes in and that's unfortunately only you can learn that. It's something I would really stress that you, you put some time into because everything should have a start, a middle and an end so always try and focus on that and um, I think one of the key things for myself that I really feel makes a successful YouTube and this is just my opinion is um, is the audio track. I think if you've got a, a, a video and it's pretty crackly audio or it's not great or some of my latest squad videos have not been great because the audio is not cool um, then that's a prime example. So I use Adobe Audition which is part of the suite but there are other tools you can use and really what you're looking to do is to do some form of adaptive noise reduction. So every time you do a voiceover, um, every time you do comms, um, there's always that hiss and crackle. Using some of these tools will actually reduce um, the, the the buzz and crackle of this. Now what you also need to do is make sure that in your PS3 your output device underneath accessory settings is set um, to uh, what am I saying? To record squad comms it's set to the system default device so that way it will come through the halpage box. If you don't want it to come through the halpage box set it to your headphones. Okay. If you need any more comments on that, then you know, let me know. In terms of how to do good voiceovers, a good mic is always good. This is a shit mic. And uh, there's always a technique of how to talk through a mic. So, for example, I'm currently talking in that direction. So my, my purrs don't go into the mic. If I actually talk into the mic like, purr, 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 like that, that probably sounded horrible for you. So always, if you do mic work, try and speak uh, along uh, I think I guess perpendicular to the mic I guess uh, and that works well in terms of artwork again this is entirely up to you this is the these are the kind of the accoutrement the the additional bits that you can add to your video that make it um, feel and look maybe a bit more polished um, I use Photoshop I'm a big fan of Photoshop it's a scary tool if you've never used it before but once you get comfortable with it it's perfectly okay there are a lot of very good art packages out there so don't let me kind of dictate that I think if you have a particular favorite um, artwork package then go for it and just try and make your content a little bit kind of interesting a little bit different don't be afraid to experiment because again I think 
The sad thing about YouTube is that the first evaluation is with the eye. So it's like a really bad French cook. You know, they can produce the best food in the world, but if it looks like a pile of poo, then no one's going to eat it. So I think YouTube's the same as well. If you have an interesting introduction or a thumbnail or something like that, then I think these are these are important things to bear in mind. Um, also, the thing with the Photoshop um, piece is that, you know, you should look to try and build a bit of a brand as well. We'll probably do more of that another time because is firstly I don't do the brand for this channel that's done by my my, my trusty partner here um, but unfortunately you know I think if you get your brand wrong it can look a bit weird so in terms of I think then the final stages of once you've edited your video and again I can't really help you with that I think try and make it succinct do you know what I mean keep it to about 10 50, you know 10 minutes is probably about good um, if you're looking to probably monetize some of these things, then 10 minutes is perfect because unfortunately you can include adverts on that if you so wish. I know, choppy subject, well, but unfortunately that is you know, a motivator for why a lot of YouTube exists and such because um, obviously you can you know, put your, your art out there. Um, I pause the screen if you want to capture those. Those are pretty much the best settings to export your file into um, for streaming. So that is a really good quality stream setup. And in Adobe, I'm actually able to set that to a YouTube standard. So that's the YouTube standard you see there. And I'm not going to repeat it because I have no idea what it means. So let's move on to YouTube itself. I assume you have a YouTube account already. If you don't, then just go and set one up. Pretty much YouTube is one of these things that you can you know, pretty much easily navigate because it's not actually that complex. There's not much behind it. So the first thing you're gonna do is start to upload videos. So you've got your video, drop, go to your upload button and then drop the video in. Um, the best thing to do at this stage is just let it upload without any description, tags, or anything like that. Just leave it, let it upload. Um, once it's uploaded, you can then do certain things with it. Otherwise, it gets a bit twitchy. Now, I used to have a major problem with uploading videos to YouTube. It could have been because my, my internet connection, I think, was probably from maybe the 19... Hundreds, I don't know, but it was terrible. Um, and I always had a problem with this, but re until recently I just upload them, then they go in. You then are able to have, you have your video manager, and this is where you can start to actually control your videos. Um, and as you can see here, there's a few things to kind of bear in mind. Now, again, I'm not gonna kind of go into this in too much depth. Um, you have a number of key kind of critical things to do in YouTube, but everything else is kind of toys to play with. So as you can see here, you've got your views, your likes, your dislikes. Look at that, somebody disliked one of my videos. I will hunt you down. I get. Um, try and use thumbnails as best you can as well. When you first start off with YouTube, a lot of the functionality is locked for you. So you can't maybe monetize, you can't use thumbnails and so on. But once you get to that point, you will probably find that very quickly you can. A key thing that you must do is put things in playlists. People like videos and one-off videos are fine, but what you'll commonly find is that people will want to watch more of a series of, of, of videos than not. And as you can see here, I've produced you know, pretty much quite a number of uh, playlists. And this is where I think you can really start to rack up the views because if you build a substantial number of different things, then you know, people will come and keep coming back for you. Um, obvious ones here is when you have a title, the title is what is searched by. So if you're doing an e-video like this, then make sure you put a good title and description and, and tags. And then obviously you have your information at the top here. So, you know, you have the raw file, how many views it's had. That's probably one of my most popular ones there. But, you know, for some reason, people like to see Titans shooting each other. Um, but it gives you a wealth of information, which you can really go into in a bit more depth. But again, not today. I think this is really just to get you um, up and running. In the channel settings underneath features, you'll see that possibly a lot of features are enabled or not enabled for you yet. Don't worry, it takes time. As you can see, I've got a few that aren't even unlocked yet. But I think um, really it, it, YouTube is a grower. Okay, so I really would stress that YouTube is something that you'll start. It will become a bit of a passion for you. I must admit for myself it has. And um, over time, you'll probably find that you, uh, you start to grow. And I think really it's just about getting comfortable with it. So what's the showcase about? Well, we want to try and showcase as many people as we can. I get a lot of people kind of sort of linking me videos saying, you know, I'll check this out, what do you think? And I, I do love that. I love seeing other people's stuff. Um, you know, I, I try and get time to watch everything, but there's a few times when I don't. So I've decided to set time apart 
Um, and what we're going to do is a weekly, maybe, um, show where what we'll do is we'll kind of just, you know, if you have a clip or something that you're interested in sharing, then um, we'll give you a form or something like that, and you know, to be to be determined. Um, and what you can then do is is you know basically just send us that. We'll then do a weekly show of it where we'll um, show your clip. We'll show you a link. We'll include a link to your channel, and we'll include a subscribe tag as well. Um, and basically we'll start to kind of build uh, a bit of an audience for you as well. So um, I hope that that's cool. Um, if it's not, then apologies. But <laughs> I think I'm really keen to get more people doing dust videos. It's a passion for me and I really want to make it a passion for others. Um, there are some really good dust YouTubers out already and they are doing some amazing stuff. So I'd love to include their work as well. But I think if you're, if you're keen, if you're interested and you've always thought to yourself, I'd love to try it, but I've never really had the, the gumption to do it, then I think I can only stress, please, please try it. Um, and I think you'll find that it could be life changing for you. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. It's a it's a really fun hobby. I think if you love gaming, which obviously you do because you're watching videos on it, um, then I think this could be something that really tops off your your hobby by doing something a bit you know more creative than just playing the game. Is that you could actually you know build some artwork effectively around the game and produce some content that when you're old and grey and sat in your rocking chair and you've got your great grandkids on your lap you can basically sit there and say hey look look what your you know <laughs> look what your great gramps did uh, way back look at me owning this dude here lol there we go hope you enjoyed that if uh, if you have any comments or if you have any questions post in the uh, the comments and we'll certainly try to go through them um, but we will do a more succinct video certainly on the uh, the showcase uh, series of videos that are going to start um, early November. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.